does know the importance of checking the cork, but there is a man near Smith Mountain Lake who can tell you all about the cork screw because opening the bottle is at least as important as, as what's in it, and that's according to Patrick Evans. Well, if you've ever wanted to learn a little bit about corkscrews, this is the place to come. We're in Donald Bull's home, and he has a collection of thousands of corkscrews from the inexpensive to the very expensive, from the arcane to the famous. Look at this. This is a corkscrew that was in Al Capone's bar in Chicago. That's just one of the interesting pieces in, col in his collection. He's written many books about corkscrews, and it will be, in fact, signing two of his most recent books. This is Donald Bull. Thank you very much for having us over. It's a pleasure. You have laid out a number of corkscrews that date back many, many years, mm -hmm. some a couple hundred years or more. That's Tell me about the history of the corkscrew as it is laid out here. It wasn't always just for wine. Well, you no, know, it was used for wine, beer, whiskey, medicine, ink bottles, whatever you had to have a cork removed from. Okay. Uh, what we're looking at here in the first batch is the history of corkscrews in brief. From a gun packing screw, okay. that's the general idea where it came from, to a 1795 English invention, 1802, 1862, until we finally get to that remote control that you talked about. I gotta get one of those now. These are interesting. Look at that. That's a um, I guess the granddaddy of Swiss Army knives. It certainly is. It's a little bit difficult <laughs> to use. We also have left-handed corkscrews. Okay? <laughs> now, what's the oldest corkscrew in your collection? The oldest one would be this piece here, which is a double-jointed pipe tamper corkscrew, English, about 1790. Now, you also have uh, what would be a very expensive collectible corkscrew laying here on the table. Tell me about that one. My Cherub's corkscrew is... Uh, 1890, England. Is that? That's a bottle guard so that uh, you protect yourself from injury while you're pulling a cork from a bottle. You said that bottles used to be very fragile. Bottles were fragile. And the way this works is you simply stand on the levers on the side, pull the cork out. If the bottle broke, you're protected by the leather. I get it. Now, also, grab your books. You're going to be signing your books uh, at Lee and Edwards coming up this Saturday. That is... 12 to 4, noon to 4. That's correct. Uh, the Ultimate Corkscrew book came out in January of this year, and the Pocket Guide just came out in March. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. A fantastic look at corkscrews, an interesting collection. You can learn more Saturday at Lee and Edwards Wine Shop. And I'm Patrick Evans. My thanks to Donald Bull here on News 7 at 5. Another one of